a video just to show it starting up with the weight still attached. It's not very windy today. About six, seven, eight. So yeah, I'm going to take the weights off now and see if we get any different speed. So now I've taken the weights out, so I'll let it go. Hopefully it starts up a little bit quicker, but I don't know if it's going to go any faster. It's definitely going faster. <laughs> Getting a tiny bit more wind now, but it's still not a lot. See these getting wafted around if it's really windy. And they're quite stable. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <coughs> undo the arms. And put it back out to fully open as a comparison. Okay, over it out. Let's see what's one arm off. Let's see you now. what it looks like. Obviously, it's fixed to the other can. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to drill a couple more holes. But what I'm going to do now is this is going to get moved to there <clears throat> to create a wider blade and then you'll be able to see the central spindle in the middle. So I've, <clears throat> I've got to adjust these because basically uh, that hole isn't hitting anything at the moment because of how the, cat, how the drum is. So I'm going to drill another hole here. I think I'll drill another two, one there and one there on each of them. So each one's got four holes. And I didn't really mark them up as to which one's top and bottom, so I'm going to set the top and the bottom, clean this thing, uh, clean that, get some oil on these. I don't have any grease, which is annoying. I know oil isn't good enough because I had noticed water's just sitting in here. So I will buy some grease today and get these bad boys greased up. So yeah, drilling more holes and then we'll be back up. Don't be in a hurry folks, if you want your drill bits to last. It's on the lowest speed possible. And my memory card's about to run out, so I'll be back in a bit.
see this DeWalt drill bit, it's got an extension protrusion in the middle. It's only about 2mm wide, but it's like a guide cut. Oh shit, the oil's gone. It's only six mil, but that drill bit does the beers. So I've used it for hours and hours and hours and hours, not sharpened it because I wouldn't know how to. So the oil's ended up on the floor. Oh no, it's here. Excellent. So yeah, now I've got to do the other side. <coughs> and yeah, the other side and then the other one. So there's six more holes to drill, but that's that's good. I'll come back. So I've drilled some more random holes. So that if I run it uh, with the blades wider, which is how I'm going to, I've got places for it to, uh, I've just got to get a, uh, my hand drill and sort that out and then there. Then I'm going to mark them up properly, top and bottom. And then what I'll probably do is just tie a strap around this whole thing and just drag it up there. And then I'll just plonk it on. So... Sweet, better crack on, it's going to get dark soon. <clears throat> Just went and bought a pack of uh, M10 threaded bars. So what I'm going to actually do is, because what I should have done at the start is drill these out all perfectly, including one bang in the middle. I'm going to drill a hole in the middle. That one top looks fine. And then I'm going to have a bit of threaded bar with two bolts, one end, two bolts, the other end. And that will help make sure these are perfectly aligned as well. So yeah, that's the next step. More drilling. You can see that's the top of the drum, how it would normally be. You see there's a fair bit to tighten up, so... It's good, it's going to work well, I think. Also, I'm using some threaded bar to support these. <coughs> I've only got five bits in total, so this makes four. I'm gonna buy another one and then I'm gonna have four of these bolts. So yeah, that's good. It's all extra support, makes it stronger. Touch wood. So I'll just do those up. So this is what I've ended up with. <clears throat> those two supports in the middle. When I get another bit of threaded bar, it's gonna, I'm going to have four. He says, pathetically attempting to try and put it in. There you go, so there's going to be four like that, holding the bearing together. They'll have that. I need to buy some more M10 nuts. These will have... M10 nuts on the inside and the outside, so we'll be able to adjust it uh, that way and that way, so that's good. <clears throat> I don't know how much, if any, this will affect the airflow, but I can't see it being too much of a problem when you consider the fraction of that to the overall theoretical blade area. So, yes, jolly good. So, that's definitely progress. So that's back to how it was before with the spindle which I'm looking around for which is here just let me dip in a little bit of oil
shafter there, that's it with the shaft in the middle. <clears throat> Had a bit of a palaver getting it in because being a donut I hadn't undone the little hex bolt thing. With the Allen key, so yeah that's it. So next, uh, it's going to go up over the next couple of days and getting some decent wind towards the end of the week. So I'll put a video up of it working then and then gonna have to start soon thinking about making a motor for it which I already have been thinking about but I have to get a s stability and stuff right first so yeah over and out bye for now